hey guys welcome to this new video so today i am going to show you a detailed guide of how to spoof in pokemon go on your android device without rooting your phone now this method works for a few phones from android 6 and android 7 because some of the android 6 phones have less than 1 gb ram and they aren't able to run pokemon go itself so it does not work for those phones but it works for all phones which run pokemon go and are on android 6 and android 7. now there are a few simple steps to getting this hack and i'm gonna show you all those steps in details now the first one is to downgrade your google play services to 12.6.85 and after that the step is to download the spoofing app that i'm gonna show you this is a spoofing app not discussed quite frequently and i believe this works better than L fgl pro so i think that this app is better than all the spoofing apps that i have currently seen so the name of the app is gps joystick and if you know how to google how to downgrade your google play services you can go straight away download this app and start spoofing and uh, for those who do not know how to spoof from scratch so i'm going to show you every single step now this is my google play services right on my phone and over here you can see my version is 12.6.85 and your google play services version if you haven't downgrade, downgraded it might be above this it could be 19 it could be 18 it could be somewhere near that so you need to bring it down to 12.6.85 and the way you do that is hit this button right here of uninstall updates and this will downgrade your google play services to the factory version which is quite below 12.6.85 and this makes any app on your phone not able to run you're not able to run any single app on your phone because the google play services are required for basically every app and if you downgrade it downgrade it to the factory version it won't be able to run most of the apps now once you have click the uninstall updates button what you can do is that you can download the 12.6185 version according to your device according to your android version and then according to your number that you have specifically on your phone now you can see this number right here this will be next to your google play services as well on your phone and this will help you download the google play services from the app app store so guys here i am on the website of google play services apk mirror from where you can download the google play services 12.6.85 and uh, for that you need to go down to all these download links and uh, as you have seen there is a specific number next to your google play services when you search it in your installed apps and over there you can find your number and according to that you need to download your google play services now one thing that you need to keep in mind there is a specific dpi for every phone if you do not know your dpi for your phone you need to install an app this one right here and i will link it down in the description from there you can find the dpi of your phone now moving on once you know your dpi and your number and then you need to just install the app according to your android version so for android 6 and 7 there is android 6.0 pl plus and you need to download it according to your dpi and according to the number here so if the dpi for my phone is 320 and the number is right here so according to that you just need to click on it and then download the app so once you have downloaded the app all you need to do is install it and it will 
you know replace the factory version with the 12.6.85 version and you're all set to the second step of downloading the spoofing app so guys here is the website from where you can download the app gps joystick which i used to spoof easily now you need to install the version 3.0.2 because that is the only version that allows you to spoof in the game currently and you can just download any of these apps from here all you got to do is go there click download and download the app and then install it on your device now guys here i am on the app that i use this is the same app gps joystick but once you open it all you gotta do is enter coordinates select a place on the map or get your current location that you're at and then just hit start and it'll activate the joystick it might pop up ads sometime but it usually doesn't and that's the good part of it it does not have a lot of ads so let's open the game and see how well this works you might need to click on the uh, you know auto fix button uh, quite uh, frequently before you start the app because that is only when it works so guys the game has loaded up and as you can see we are at the central park in new york city and you are able to see all the gyms all the pokestops and are able to also catch pokemon so let's try to catch a pokemon which pops up nearby so here we have a slugma bulbasaur everything let's click on it and let's see if we can catch it easily or not and as you can see there was no gps uh, signal not found or some fail to detect location it just works pretty smoothly and you can just throw a ball and catch a pokemon that easily it works absolutely amazing and uh, yeah this is the spoofing app that i use every day to spoof so I guarantee you that this app will surely help you to prove and there we go we have caught the Pokemon as well so it works absolutely like butter and it's very simple to use so I prefer anybody to use this app now let's just catch another Pokemon right there there's a Bulbasaur and I usually go with some golden drag on the starter so uh, there we go we are here at the Bulbasaur and there we go we can catch it easily now you can enter chords on this uh, uh, app you can choose a location on the map you can also import GPX files onto it and uh, of course you can get your current location that you were at in continuous proofing from there as well there we go there is a Bulbasaur caught too and that is where I will end the video so thank you so much for watching guys and again you need to keep in mind that sometimes the GPS app does not configure to your phone's uh, you know settings and therefore you just need to go to settings and just need to set it according to your phone now if uh, you have an Android version on the latest patch level just enable suspend mocking and there you go you're ready to go to uh, any place without uh, worries if you're on Android 6 7 and have the latest patch level it works great now if that does not switch on that's only when you have to do it and there are other methods if you have Android uh, 6 7 but have the earlier patch level then you can use these methods okay and if you have rooted your phone there's another root mode for it and a lot of different uh, settings that you can configure according to your device now that is it for the video guys thank you so much for watching stay tuned for more videos hit the like button subscribe to the channel and that's it guys peace out